welcome Jessica Machado, who's an editor at NBC News on the diversity, equity, and inclusion team. She's also a local girl, born and raised right here on Oahu. And this year, she published this book. It's a memoir titled Local, if you want to check it out, because it was just published this month. Thank you for being here, yeah, Jessica. thank you for having me. Welcome back home. Yes, I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, coming from New York, how cold was it there? It was cold. Yeah. Like, it hasn't snowed yet this year, uh -huh. but it's cold enough, and I was happy to put on shorts when I came back. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure that was a nice change. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you about this book, because I can't imagine how hard it is to write a, a novel like this. What kind of started you on this journey? Yeah, so when my mother passed away, um, you know, a lot of people want to excavate some things like that. You know, I was, you know, I grieved and it was uh, a relationship I wanted to explore. So it started off as a book about our relationship. Um, and I started it in grad school and then I kind of shelved it for a while. And I realized, you know, you know, at the heart of like what I was writing about was about loneliness. And that loneliness was not just about like my mother and our, our relationship or her dying. It was something that had always kind of been there growing up in Hawaii. And so I wanted to like poke at it a little bit in the book, you know, like being, um, you know, a daughter of a very local guy and a white woman from Louisiana and like sort of this, you know, blending of cultures that we never talked about sort of and never quite fitting in in Hawaii, right? Mm -hmm. um, but still loving it and wanting to be part of it and being local and being Native Hawaiian and still feeling disconnected. So your father is where mm -hmm. you get your Native Hawaiian yes. heritage from. Mm -hmm. Your mom, you said, was from Louisiana, yeah. kind of a Southern Belle. Southern Belle, totally. Described yes, her, yes, right? yes, yes. And in a lot of ways, these cultures probably had never really melded for them. They probably weren't familiar with them either, right? No. They came together. Yeah, and I don't. we never talked about that stuff growing up. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, maybe we joke on my mom for being like, you know, for her little like affectations that were very Southern. <laughs> or, you know, she would wear, you know, she taught in Waianae. And she would wear pantyhose like underneath her <laughs> her dress. I was like, it's a hundred degrees, mom. Like, what are you? Why are you wearing pantyhose underneath your dress? You know, like. So she, but that's who she was, right? Um, so like those kinds of things, right? Like we there was we there was those kinds of jokes and clashes like that, but not about like, you know, our our history, right? And I feel like sometimes, you know, at least in my family, being. Native Hawaiian and being local it was like just was it is what it was. It wasn't necessarily explored, and our histories weren't talked about. What do you hope readers will walk away with if they read local? Yeah, I think like you know, there's like the overarching theme. It, it is like a coming of age memoir, right? So I think um, people will understand the struggle to figure out who you are, and like you know, in any town you grow up in, like whether you fit in or not. Like I think that you know. Not just people in Hawaii will relate to that, but I think um, I've been told that, like you know, for locals, it's a very it does really capture a specific time in like the 80s and 90s um, when you know Hawaii was had been clearly westernized quite a bit, and you know I was very lucky, like my parents wanted to send me to private school and. Um, and like we lived in the suburbs of Makakilo for a little while, but it's uh, you know some 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 things are lost in that, right? Like in the ways we connect to the Aina and our culture, and um, you know I took Hawaiian studies in high school, and like we didn't talk about the nuances of culture, right? So so I think that there's something that that local people, especially those who maybe moved away and came back, could also take away from this book. Yeah, I think there are a lot of things that everyone can relate to. So you should definitely check it out. It's called Local, a memoir by Jessica Machado. She's also going to be at Native Books on Saturday from 4 to 6 for a Q&A session, as well as a book signing if you want to check it out. But Jessica, thank you so much yeah, for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And that's your Sunrise Book Club. We'll be right back.